today is the day to celebrate because it is new notebook day. Let me fill you in on why that matters in a second, but first, a little bit of backstory. As a sophomore going into junior year of high school, I was running cross country and my coach suggested that I start a running log. And what that is, is basically just you tracking your miles somewhere and then writing a little bit about how you felt during the workout. So that way, when you look back at it, you can gauge how you feel after things and maybe if you're having a bad time with certain workouts or something like that. So I do that. Over time, I started just putting in more random details about my day, and before I knew it, I was just kind of writing whatever I felt in there, and I didn't know it at the time, but it was definitely therapeutic for my high school stress. And that served as my first foray into the journaling world. So my first entry in this notebook was June 11th, 2019, and I just finished it on February 12th, 2021. This notebook has no lines and was initially intended for drawing, but eventually I just started writing to let go of some emotional weight that I had. When I started this in summer 2019, I was in a really tough mental space and that's very evident throughout this as well. And as a result, every single page is filled with dense text and illustrations about my day-to-day -day life and things that I think about. Doing all this writing felt good enough that I would continue and I began documenting my life in explicit detail and capturing everything about my day whether it was just something really small, or how I was feeling in a single moment, to how I've been feeling, how I'm doing, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations. I want to emphasize that. I am more honest with this journal than I have been with anyone in my life. I am sure that this is a place for unbound creativity. Even though it seems like a lot of it is just mundane details, I don't want to restrict the purpose of the journal because that will prohibit good ideas that I have from being entered because they don't fit the criteria of a journal. So because of that, I will never exclude anything from going in the journal if I feel like it should be in here at all. At a surface level, this helps me get my ideas onto paper and document my life. Two worthwhile things. The real benefit that it affords me though is critical introspection. It forces me to think about my life, which in turn lets me learn more about myself as I see common themes for better or for worse. This helps me clear the murky water of life and helps me feel grounded and in control. I end almost every entry with a gratitude statement and an acceptance statement, the former being something that I'm thankful for in my life, and it's interesting because it can be as significant as a family member or as small as my winter coat. The latter is a statement about something that I simply cannot control. It reminds me to not expend mental energy on things that I have no effect on. Writing out reminds me of this, helps me process it, and helps me find peace in my life. I keep journaling because I find it invaluable to my mental health. It literally helps me sleep at night. Uh, I let just all my problems flow from the ink onto the paper and let them sit ready for reflection. It's also just really fun, and there's something special about treating myself to a fancy notebook and a fancy pen to write and document my life. All the converging benefits of journaling makes the end of one notebook and the beginning of another an event truly worth celebrating to me. So cheers. If you're into journaling, let me know and tell me about your system. If you're considering journaling, ask me and I'll answer any questions that I can. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.